Hey guys, my name is Paul from Plan B Paraguay. As part of our series on living in Paraguay and what it's like here, we thought we'd talk about a very popular local sport here, which is called paddle. So today we'll talk a bit about paddle and why you might want to get into it if you're in Paraguay. So paddle is a racket sport, you can see. It uses, similar to tennis, uses a little bit of a different racket. And um, I'd say it's kind of like if you imagine tennis, except you're in a box and you can actually bounce the tennis ball off the walls behind you. Paddle's always played with four people, uh, two, two pairs of two, and um, it's on these smaller courts. This sport originally originated in Mexico, but it's spread all over Latin America and some parts of Europe. And it's quite common when you're in Paraguay to see different paddle courts and many of the locals playing paddle on, on different nights of the week. So what I like about paddle is that even more so than tennis, it's easier for beginners to, to come and play. So you can come, you know, it can be your first day and you can keep up with other people. I also, what you notice when you see Paraguayans play is there's a lot of older people, perhaps a little bit less fit, you know, in their 50s, 60s, and they're still able to play. And I think that's cool because it's a sport that you can play for a long time. So like many things in Paraguay, paddles are a very social thing. You'll see there'll be courts of people playing and you know, there'll be friends sitting and then afterwards everyone's talking and having a beer. So it's just a really nice place to meet people. You know, besides the beers, there's also, uh, there's asados. Uh, sometimes after, when it gets really hot here, after a match, we all like to uh, set up an ice bath and use that to cool down. So there's other things you can do, you know, at the paddle courts. At Plan B, we realize just how important it is, you know, when you move into a new country to have a social group, to have people around you, you can trust people you meet every week. And so we run our own paddle night on Mondays. And what I recommend, you know, to all expats, if you do come to Paraguay to, you know, start a social activity, whether it's paddle or it's something else, you'll find you'll meet like-minded people. People are going through the transition that you are moving to a new country and it can just be a very beneficial thing for you to do. So here today, the place is empty because we're here in the middle of the day. Uh, I like paddle, but I'm not the best player. So I have private lessons once a week on Wednesdays. And what's cool about Paraguay is, you know, a weaker player like me could have private lessons. And these lessons will cost about 14 US dollars a lesson. So I have, you know, one hour of lessons a week and it's, it's quite affordable. When you compare that to Australia or America where we're from, you know, it can be yeah, 60 or $80 an hour for lessons. And this is a one-on-one -on -one lesson, you know, with a professional. So in regards to the other costs of the sport, uh, obviously you're going to want to buy a racket. Rackets, you know, they probably retail from about $70 US. Uh, this one was about 120. It's kind of a, a mid-range racket up to, you know, I have a friend who bought a racket for 300. Uh, the other thing is cost of hiring the courts. It's about, let me see, $8 an hour. But then, you know, you're sharing that cost between four different people or more. And usually you rent the courts for two hours at a time. Uh, what would be the other costs? If you don't have a racket, you know, the venues will usually just hire your racket, it's, it's about $1.50 to lend you the racket for the day. So it's a very reasonably priced sport to get into. It's also in other countries, uh, people play golf. In Paraguay, I, I guess more the upper class sport is paddle. So you're probably gonna meet you know, a lot more business focused, entrepreneurial people here as well if you get into this sport. So I hope you learned a little bit more about Paraguay today. Like and subscribe to our videos and follow us on Twitter if you'd like to learn more about Paraguay. And if you would like to take that leap and have your plan B in Paraguay, whether it's, you know, just as a backup option or you want to live here full time like we do, you know, you'll see there is a Calendly link in the description below and you can have a call with me or the team. Anyway, guys, my lesson's about to get started. So I'll speak to you next week. Have a good one.